I walked into a convenience store. The kind of convenience store you walk into and you're like, I should not be in this convenience store. Uh, it is a terrifying convenience store. Uh, but I will, uh, I'm Canadian, so I'll buy some gum and then I will go. So I walked up to the cash. There was a woman there. She needed her scratch tickets. And as she was backing up her vehicle, I stepped to the side. And that's when I saw it. There was a rack of fancy hats. There was an entire rack from top to bottom of fancy hats. The chocolate bars weren't stocked. <laughs> there was one or two magazines on the magazine rack, but there it was, an entire rack of fancy hats. What was its purpose? Why was it there? Was it something like, hey, Cheryl, how were sales tonight? Well, they weren't that great, Brian. <laughs> they weren't that great at all. I'm almost afraid to ask. Did we happen to sell any of our fancy hats? <laughs> No, Brian, we didn't sell any of our fancy hats. God damn it! Brian, maybe it's time that we give up on trying to sell the fancy hats. Cheryl, <clears throat> what's the number one rule I have told you about selling fancy hats? You said it's consistency, Brian. <laughs> you said it's consistency. <laughs> That's right. Maybe one night someone walks in here. They are not in need of a fancy hat. <laughs> but they see our rack, and six months down the road, in the middle of the night, when they're all of a sudden in dire need, Oh, fancy hat. They will remember Brian's convenience. They will remember my rap of a million fancy hats. <laughs> Just then, a face they haven't seen in years burst into the store. Hey, I know, I know, I'm not supposed to be here. What the hell are you doing here? Please, Brian, hear me out. It's your daughter, my wife. She's dying. She's not gonna make it through the night. I've dressed her up in her finest. <laughs> but all I need is one of your fancy hats. How dare you? After all you've done to this family, you think I'm gonna send you one of my fancy hats? I do not think so, sir. I do not think so. I do not think so, sir. I do not think so. I do not think so, sir. I do not think so. What are you going to do, Brian? <laughs> Please, Brian. This one hat. <laughs> I need some air. I need some air. Oh, Brian, what are these fancy 
you have to do it to you, bro? What is it doing to you? An old abandoned factory. <laughs> Fancy hats. I knew that'd be your answer, Brian. I knew it all along. If you're not gonna sell me one of your fancy hats, I'm gonna have to take it. No, Cheryl! What? It didn't have to be this way, Brian. It didn't have to be this way. I think I'm gonna make it. Ah, oh, two guns. <laughs> Chill. Take my hand. I'm so cold, yeah. I'm so cold. I want to apologize to you for my business decision. <laughs> Just sell the fancy ass! <laughs> no! 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 So it's uh, either that or uh, they just had like a box of hats in the back. <laughs> it's one of those two things. Thank you so much for coming. I'm Mark Ford. I appreciate it. Thank you.